Howdy folks, Ever Johnson, Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine. It's uh, Sunday, February 7, and uh, we fished yesterday, and kind of working on some stuff, getting ready, uh, gonna be uh, hopefully hitting it again. I'm gonna show you a few things I carried yesterday, just a couple there. But anyway, uh, look, we got out on the reefs in San Antonio Bay yesterday, and uh, we found some trout, and uh, most fun of all, we picked up a couple buckets of oysters. And this is, uh, th this makes for a pretty special day. We brought them home, shucked them, had uh, fried oysters and grilled oysters and made an oyster chowder last evening. You'll see the uh, grilled oysters and the, uh, and the chowder in uh, Pam's cooking page coming up pretty soon. And uh, anyway, Getting on to business here. I'm hoping that uh, we're going to be able to fish again this week. Uh, I got a big Arctic front coming down later, maybe Thursday, Friday. Hoping that uh, we get some good pre-front conditions. Going to get out there and uh, and uh, try them again. Uh, a lot of nice fish in the bay right now. Um, one little thing here. I was not in a fight. <laughs> My skin doctor. She took a scalpel to me. You know, uh, just want to give you a couple of real quick uh, words of uh, advice. Wear your sunscreen, wear your mask. Years ago when I was a youngster, we didn't uh, practice such precautions. And uh, hey, I'm paying the price today. Um, they sent the specimens off to the lab and we'll find out whether or not they're uh, dangerous, skin cancer. But anyway, wear the sunscreen, wear the mask, be cautious all the time. Even a couple of hours in the sun, it's cumulative, piles up over a lifetime. And uh, when you get my age, you don't wanna be uh, visiting the girl with the knife too many times. So let's move along into what we got in uh, Texas Saltwater Fishing Magazine for you this month. Um, Jay Watkins is going to do a little bit of myth, myth busting on uh, wintertime trout. Lots of folks have uh, ideas that the trout find a muddy place and just live there all winter. Jay says not so much. And uh, Jay's an expert, believe me. Uh, Chuck Uzzle wants to talk to you about some uh, great alternative uh, taxidermy methods. Uh, you know, skin mounts have been around forever. Sometimes they work nice and sometimes they don't last too real long. But uh, anyway, some nice options available today in uh, fish taxidermy. And Texas Parks and Wildlife gave us a very interesting article this month and they're going to talk to you about uh, shifts of preference. Uh, live shrimp that was long the favorite for speckled trout anglers on the Texas coast. Seems as soft plastics is overtaking that. So all of our uh, writers got some uh, nice material for you and uh, hope it's very informative. Hope you enjoy it. Get out on the water and uh, hey, practice uh, good sun protection. Be kind and courteous to your fellow angler and have a great day out there. See you next month.